Hi everyone, it's Robin from Crafting with Robin. And today I'm here with a couple different hauls. I'm going to start out with my Amazon haul. And I did find, I ordered some of this, let's see what the name of it is. It's for wood burning, full wood burning, or I guess you are actually burning the wood. Um, wood burning gel. Quick and easy in four simple steps, and it came with a little squeegee thing. So you apply the stencil to untreated wood, spread gel over stencil, and squeegee excess away. Wait two, two to three minutes, and then you use a heat gun on it, and it comes out wood burnt. And I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm going to do a practice one first, so maybe I'll do a video with that, me practicing. I did try the pens a while back and I didn't have a good enough stencil so they bled and it kind of came out a mess. Plus I started out with something that was a little too complex for my first time and for the pen. But I am going to try this so I'll probably do a video because with my crafting with my grandkids I'm going to have them um, try it or we're going to do it together. I don't know how safe it is for kids. I'll have to read up on it a little bit. And then on Amazon, I found some Smart Vinyl. We've got the blue, the mint green, and I believe I paid, it was between, there's different prices, it was between $3.79 and $3.99, and they are 13 inches by 3 feet. So I got black and turquoise. And they are, are the Cricut Smart Vinyl. And the Smart Vinyl is for the Explore 3 and the Maker 3. I have the original Explore, I have the Joy, and I have the, um, the first Maker, just the Maker. I believe you can still use these on, on um, a mat. So if I'm wrong about that, let me know if you know that. But I'm going to try to do that too. I just love these colors, the, the turquoise and this, what is this called? Mint. It does have it on there. Mint. And then, I think that was just this left that I got. And it is the Centro Knitting Machine. I haven't even opened the box yet. Let's see how to open it. And I saw this on um, another YouTuber, Gifts HQ. Her name's Nancy. She had one of these, and I saw it on her. She does lives every Saturday. Um, and I saw it on her channel, and she made it look so easy. So I'm hoping, and that basically what you do is, I won't be able to do anything on the video because I didn't open that up the right way. Basically, you um, you thread the yarn on this. You know, first put it together and thread the yarn on here, and then you crank it, and it knits for you. And depending on how you have this, I don't know. I I will have to read the directions. I'm not sure, but she. You know, crank the wheel. You have to have a special kind of yarn. I think it can only be up to a certain thickness. But you can make several things. Now, what she made that really impressed me was she made a snowman. And I'm looking forward to trying, trying that out. Oh, I guess I did get it loosened up so I can pull it out. And it counts your rows for you. I've never knitted. I have crocheted. I'm not super good at crocheting. I've made, I used to make a lot of these and give them away as gifts. And this is probably, I've had this thing for probably, oops, there's a little string sticking out. I've probably had this for 15 years at least that since I did this one. And I have washed it and everything. So it held up pretty good. That's the only one I have left. So I, Pretty sure I gave the rest away or 
Maybe they fell apart, who knows. But here's how it comes. And it comes with some yarn to start yourself with and a little book and some other, the legs to it and some other little utensils. Looks like crochet hook and some little plastic needles and stuff. So I will be trying to make something with this. I'd love to try that snowman. That might be my first thing I try, or just a hat. Well, we can make a hat in this with one of these. So I'm going to do that. Or try that. And I probably just sit and watching TV at night. I bet you could do this and whip out some hats. I could make one for each of my kids or grandkids for Christmas. But anyways, that was it for my Amazon. And now I'm going to go into my Walmart. And I did buy two of the cheaper wreaths. They need a fluffing out and everything. The 20 inch, three, they were $3.98. I am going to, I have on either side of my garage outside, I have some outdoor lights. I'm going to decorate these a little and then hang them up out there. I've never really decorated outside here for Christmas other than putting a couple of the little decorations I have sitting them on sitting them on my front step but so I'm going to do that then I did find some yarn and I'm hoping it is the right kind that will work in the machine um, and I don't remember I should look at the book but I did get some white like I said she made a snowman that I fell in love with so and that was a big jumbo pack. And I believe I paid seven cents for each of these. And some colorful purples and pinks and whites. And then another colorful one. That's got the neon orange and some fuchsia purple. It's got the bright green or bright um, purples and pinks and oranges. That's it for yarn. Figured I'd try it out. I have a lot of yarn in my in a stash in my craft room that I'd have to get to to let's see. I did get a couple ornaments. And these were I wanna say two two forty eight. So I got this little Christmas tree. It looks like candy cane Christmas tree striped. It's just a small, you know, what, four or five inches. And then the gnome. And if you know me, I got to have gnomes. I got to turn this light down just a hair. I think it's too bright there. I got to have my gnomes. And then I, oh, I got a couple more. I found these because I thought they would go perfect, you know, with my country decor, my um, farmhouse decor. And I don't know if I'll just hang them up as is. I have a little tree, I've said this before, it's probably a foot and a half, two feet. And it's one of those that you buy, I think I got it at Walmart, it's got a burlap sack underneath it. And I've had that for probably 10 years. And every year I don't bother putting it away. So every year I just, like right now I have it, I have a ton of flowers stuck into it so it fall flowers so it's and then I have a couple scarecrows stuck in there so I just do that and then when the season's done I just pull the flowers out but for Christmas time I put up I always put up my um we have a bunch of ornaments from caribou which is a coffee shop and I think it's a midwest thing I'm not sure if you know that let me know um so I put those ornaments, coffee cup ornaments on there, and then maybe I'll stick in some of these. And then I, these because um, I just thought they were pretty. And I love the cardinals and and I did get a roll of ribbon. For a second there, I was thinking I didn't get this at Walmart, but four ninety eight. These were 268, these ornaments. But it's just the pretty um, 
red and white with the snowflake on it. And then I found on clearance a couple shirts for my grand, two of my granddaughters. So I'm done with them for Christmas. And this, I think I paid $5 for these. This one just has some smile faces on them. And then I just grabbed a pair of gray leggings. They weren't on clearance, but they were $4.48 to go with this one. And the other one... This was $5 also, has the little flower, kind of sparkly copper almost, and brown. So I did get these leggings to go with these, this. So, And hopefully they don't fight over this one, because I think, I know the one loves leopard print. So I got, I found this. It's a really soft plush throw cuddle bed. I got this. Oh, I didn't even notice this. This is really cute. Do you see how it's got an area to put your feet in? I didn't even realize that. But I got this for my daughter for Christmas. And then I did buy some round pretzels so I can, pretzel rings so I can make the um, Rolo candies. And what's this say? Oh, that was it for my Walmart. This is just a couple things I wanted to show you that I found at a craft fair. And this is, I thought this was so cute. It's a gnome girl, but and it's got a ring under here. I don't know if it's crocheted or knitted. So you can hang your towel up. And then it's got the little button hook here so you can hang it over your door, um, drawer pulls or your um, oven door handle. I just thought this was cute. I got this at a craft sale. It was a craft sale and I went to a play turkey bingo and I did win a 25 pound turkey or 20 pound turkey. And then I found this which you know I did what I always do because I could probably make this myself but I just thought it was too cute to pass up. Pretty. And here's a little ornament. Every year I have this thing where I have to buy one handmade ornament from somebody. So I found this and I just thought it was so cute. And I don't know what you would, I mean, it's kind of got this little folds. I don't know what method you would call this, if there's a name for it. But it's really pretty. And then these are just, I don't know if anybody knows what they are. If you know what they are, let me know. I mean, I know what they are, but they're to put a hot bowl in. So you, when you're eating hot soup or something, you can set your bowl in here and it keep from burning your hands. So I did get two of those. So that was it from that craft show. And I have one other little haul. Um, I went to Maurice's and I believe that is a I believe that is a um, store that, nationwide store. If not, Maurice's is a clothing store for women. But they have these totes, I will show you it opened, for $9. So I bought two of them. And they have a little pocket in the front. And I, I always give gifts out, or try to give gifts out, in a reusable, like, grocery bag or tote of some kind so I don't know who will get these but or if I'll keep one to myself but I bought some shirts there sweaters and I'm going to try not to show the size or anything because a few of these are for my daughter and she does watch my channel and I don't want her to know which ones are hers so this is a cardigan it's kind of a maroon color and it's got these pockets in here kind of a little bit different Kind of a different style, but it's pretty. I think I paid $18.99. All of these items were clearance. And then this shirt here I paid $18.99 for. 
And then I believe because I use my card, I get 10% off, I think. So. And this one's pretty. These are kind of really soft, thinner sweaters, which is what I like because I get really hot easy. And actually, these two kind of coordinate a little bit. And here's another shirt. This is more of a um, t-shirt material. And this one I paid $12.99. And it's kind of got the, it's like a green, a moss green maybe, or see, moss green, yeah. I think I'd call it that. And the black and white, black stripes. And this one's really pretty. And my daughter's pregnant, so I wanted to find her some bigger shirts and longer shirts that'll cover her belly. And so she can wear leggings, so they'd cover her butt too, so she can wear her leggings. This one was $14.99. This is another cardigan, but it buttons up. And it's kind of, I don't know if you can see the purple on it. This is, right here is purple and gray. And then it's got the purple on the sleeve too. Looks more blue on the camera, but it is purple and a darker gray. And then lastly, I got this sweater. It's a nice big, this is a thicker cardigan. See if I can find the, there it is. And I did pay more for this. I paid $32 for this, but it's, it's a nice big thick one and it's got this fringe on it and it's got like an Aztec style to it. Um, and that one was pretty too. And this doesn't have buttons or anything. Which I can see if it has pockets. Nope, no pockets. But this was really cute. I like this. So that was it. That was my haul for the day. Yesterday I went to the doctor and I got, I've been kind of laying around all day. I went to the doctor and I got my COVID shot, my COVID booster and my flu shot. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit of pain today, achiness. Not super bad, but now that I took some Tylenol, it's helping a little. But for a while there, I, yeah, I was just kind of laying around doing nothing. So I'm hoping to get, get to a crafting video. I got to get moving on some of this stuff. And I'm hoping to get my fall decorations all packed up and put away. So that, because my tradition for me is the day after Thanksgiving is when I put up my tree. I go Black Friday shopping. I don't go early in the morning. I go at about 9 o'clock and I go to Menards, which is a home improvement store, kind of like Lowe's or Home Depot. And I believe that's a Midwest thing too. Um, I go there about 9 and usually I find everything they had. But one of the things I usually go there for is because every year they have the fuzzy socks for on sale. So... I usually grab a bunch of those and that's kind of, I give them out to everybody <laughs> and it's kind of something some people have started to expect. Other people are like, oh no, another pair of socks. <laughs> but <laughs> I like doing it whether they like it or not, but they always get something else with it. So it's not, I don't hope it's not too much of a disappointment, but anyways, that was my haul. Um, I do have a bigger Dollar Tree one that I might do later. I probably will rest a little bit first. Um, but anyways, hope you have a nice weekend. It's Saturday and have a good day. I will please, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I appreciate it, but have a good day. Bye.